Hello everybody and welcome back to Gardens and Crystals with me Wesley Peterson and today as you can see I am out in our garden here at Crystal Cottage, the area of our garden called the Botanical Garden and today I am going to be working a little bit on the border I have here behind me which is full of these beautiful Hilo Telephium Telephium and they have the old stalks on them from last season that have been left on all winter to give us some wonderful winter interest out here because otherwise it will be completely flat and there wouldn't be anything to look at and they have stood tall and wonderful through the frost and the snow and all sorts so it's really really beautiful but now they've started to bud out at the bottom with this season's new growth so I just want to take you in for a quick closer look at those so you can see what I'm talking about these are all the Hilo Telephium Telephium that I'm going to be pruning back from the old growth so that all that will be left is the beautiful new buds that are coming up down at the bottom and if we go in closer here you can see what I'm talking about there we go all the beautiful new leaves are coming up there and in this bundle over here so it's time to get in and prune off all the dead heads from last season and then this bed is going to look wonderful in front of our beautiful crystal cottage ready for the spring season and at the same time there are daffodils coming out around the edge all the way around the edge daffodils and tulips and I planted out a load of stone crop here so that this will have a thick layer of yellow flowering stone crop and then these beautiful taller growing pink flowering hello telephium telephium coming out later so let's get in and sort out this little border here all I need to do basically here is get in and prune all of these stalks all the way down so that the new growth has space to flush out and grow up just like this and maybe they'll get even taller this year because each year they seem to get a little bit taller um, but this is around the average height I hope they get a little tiny bit taller and each year they push out a little bit more at the bottom and spread so they fill out this border much more because I want it to be full up this is a beautiful plant with a kind of silvery green uh, leaf and this plant is in the Crassulaceae family so it gets these very kind of succulent leaves which is very nice and then as you can see from these big um, spent flower heads here it gets big beautiful bunches of pink flowers so this whole border becomes a beautiful pink mass and this plant is absolutely fantastic if you want to attract insects into your garden in the later season because it gets smothered with butterflies and flies and hoverflies and beetles and anything in between. So basically, let's get on with sorting out this border and then we can have a little closer look at all of these lovely new shoots when I'm finished. Now these stalks are very, very easy to get off. You just get your secretaires, get down to the bottom and then prune them off just like that. And in no time, this is just going to look beautiful. Another great idea for keeping these flower heads on the plants all winter, not just for winter interest for you, is also that they protect the new shoots as they are starting to come out from wind and excess amount of snow or whatever that can land on them. But now they're coming out and they're viable, they're looking good, they'll be able to withstand the rest of this early spring period with no problem.
as you can see, this is going to take me a little bit of time to get all the way around all these. So let's queue fast forward and get all this done so we can go in and see the beautiful, lovely green shoots at the bottom. So as you can see, I'm just doing the same thing all the way around, cutting all of these stems down right at the bottom until I manage to complete the whole lot. Getting there now, just the last two to finish off here and then basically all done. Doesn't take that long, does it? And now for the last one. So that's all my beautiful Hilo Telephium Telephium tidied up. And look what I got for you. I got you a beautiful bunch of spent flowers. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> I mean, these, just like this, they're still lovely. They could be used in an arrangement. I mean, look at them. They're gorgeous, just like that. So this pot of spent flower heads, I can keep like this for a while because I think it looks quite nice. And then when I'm finished with it, I can just break them all up and then place it on top of the soil behind me here as a kind of mulch. And also these are seed heads. So, you know, maybe something will germinate out of these as well. And seeing as I'm going to be spreading them out in the same border where I want more of this Hylotelephium telephium, no problem. But anyway, let me take you in now for a closer look so you can see the beautiful shoots that are coming up from this wonderful plant. So you can see the leaves, so you can see what it's kind of going to look like later on. And at this time of year, you have to use your imagination to be able to think how this is going to be looking during the summer. I will post a picture up on the side of me here so that you can see what the plant looks like in the summer, just to give you a little bit of inspiration. It really does look beautiful. So here they are, you can see these lovely bundles of this beautiful Hylotelephium telephium. And as I said, each year they get a little bit thicker, each bundle. And if you wish to, you can actually go in and split these bundles and spread them out even more yourself. I was thinking to do that, but um, I'm actually going to leave them now again for this season and just let them spread out themselves because I've planted a lot of this lovely yellow flowering stone crop that is going to grow around them with beautiful yellow flowers and then these will be nice and pink on top. Well, that's all I have for you for this Gardens and Crystals episode with me, Wesley Peterson. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when my next video will be uploaded and I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.